G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who said a pizza can't be healthy? This is incredibly simple to make and it tastes delish. So join me today as I make my version of a watermelon pizza. Okay, so this literally takes just about a minute or two to put together. So you're going to start off, obviously, with a piece of watermelon. Now I've tried this a couple of different ways and I find the best way to do it is to cut it into slices first. Because if you try and cut it afterwards, you're going to have bits and pieces going everywhere. It's just no fun at all. So first of all, cut it into the desired slices. And then just simply use the fruit of your choice. So to start off with, I'm going to use some sliced kiwi. And again, you can use anything that you like. It really makes no difference. Then some sliced strawberries. Now I picked these strawberries out of my own garden. And I also have a video up on my other YouTube channel, which is my Home Handy Hints channel on how to grow your own strawberries. So if you're not yet subscribed to that channel, I'll leave a link down below to my video on how to grow your own strawberries. And don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Then some blueberries. And finally for that cheese look, I'm going to use some shredded coconut. And there we have it. Probably the healthiest pizza you're ever going to have. Now obviously this isn't really a traditional recipe. This is more of a fun thing to do for kids and adults at a party or a get together. And it's an especially good treat on one of those hot days. So apart from this pizza being guilt free, it's going to taste simply delish. And another plus is you can take all the ingredients with you and make it up as you go if you're going to have say a picnic for example because it literally takes about a minute to put together. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Please check the links down below to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.